very good morning students i welcome all of you in this session of english language students in the previous session we discussed two stanzas of the poem money written by william h davies students today in this session we are going to discuss the rest of the three stanzas of the poem money so let us look at the page number 122 so students i read the third stanza you look at the stanza much have i thought of life and seen how poor men's hearts are ever light and how their values do hum like bees about their work from morn till night so students in the third stanza the poet says that i have thought so much about life i have seen so much of the world i have come to know that the hearts of the poor men the hearts of the poor men are light they are not with burden ever ever means always it means the hearts of the poor men are without tension worries therefore these people enjoy the life not only the poor men are happy even their wives keep on working continuously throughout the day from morning to the night so in this stanza the expression morn morn means morning so they are so happy that they seem as if they go on hum humming like bees so when do we hum students when we are happy when we are tension free when we are so when we have no worry in our life then we hum it shows the happiness which is there in the life of poor people so the poet has made the use of the word hum which is an instance of the figure of speech onomatopoeia so onomatopoeia is a poetic device in which the word represents original sound the original sound of the bees is also like hum and the word also represents the original sound in this way the poet has skillfully used the poetic device onomatopoeia to express the happiness in the life of poor men and their wives so this is what the poet discusses in the third stanza of the poem now let us come to the fourth stanza i read the fourth stanza you look at the fourth stanza so when i hear this poor ones laugh and see the rich ones coldly frown poor men think i need not go up so much as rich men should come down students in the fourth stanza the poet says that i have seen i have observed that the poor people poor men are happy happiness is experienced in the life of poor men because they are able to laugh they can enjoy their lives exactly opposite situation is experienced in the life of rich men as they have always frown on their forehead now your frown reveals or shows worries tensions dissatisfaction sadness in the lives of the rich people therefore these two lines so when i hear this poor one's laugh and see 
the rich ones poorly proud so these two lines are very significant in a sense that they reveal the fact that if you are poor you can have happiness in your life but being a rich man you are always with some sort of burden or worries therefore the poet is of the opinion that the poor man should not go up so the meaning of this line means the poor need not to become the rich and the rich should come down means that the rich man should become the poor to experience to enjoy the real happiness contentment in the life so in this way the poet has compared the poor man with the rich man in the fourth stanza now let us move to the last stanza of the poem i read the last stanza when i had money money oh my friend, my many friends proved all untrue but now i have no money oh my friends are real though very few so let us move to the last stanza of the poem students the last stanza begins with the same line which we have in the beginning of the first stanza if you look at the first stanza the first stanza begins with the same line i mean both the stanzas the first and the last stanza begin with the same line and that is when i had money money oh here again the poet says when i had money when i was rich man many of my friends proved to be untrue here the poet means that though the number of my friends was much more but they had not been trustworthy or faithful friends they were with me just because of i was rich man but at present i have no money i have lost money i am poor man therefore whatever small number of friends i have with me they are real faithful trustworthy friends though they are few in number they are honest and truthful friends so in this way the poet has compared the past and present in the last stanza so students i have explained the last three stanzas in this session so i would like to mention here is that the poet has used the poet has employed various poetic devices in this poem like simile onomatopoeia antithesis inversion in this poem so i hope you must have understood the last three stanzas of the poem i conclude my lecture here i stop here thank you